Nicki Minaj and DJ Self. Yesterday, they had some issues with each other. I don't know exactly what happened because we weren't here. But Nicki Minaj uh, tweeted out, he's mad because I refused to give him a drop or a hug. He was just up there dissing the and that would make me F with him. LMAO, jokes on you. Once again, dummy, pass up on your mail ticket. Now you get crumbs from her table. You're a reality TV used to be a respected DJ. I can't, I don't, Self told Cardi me. Cardi just had a baby. Let's leave her I out know. of this. Self told me Nikki spazzed on him because he said Cardi's album was better. That's what Self told me. Right. And then yeah, she, that's what he said on it. He posted, where my hug and we're dissing another female rapper won't make me like you. You hold no weight in this city and we're looking at your roster. I did clue show and he was up there looking like a sad kid asking for a job trying to get a <laughs> hug. I won't give you a job. You're not a DJ. <laughs> she mean Ross hit us. But then she said, why Stop. you wait till I leave? I got some hungry and where's with me? I'll be back tomorrow. You was just dissing her, LOL. You will remain better and... Now I heard a threat in there. Mm -hmm. that is, that's the only there problem. A, a little threat. threat. A little now, threat. Now, 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 Nikki, you got... I got some hungry... Yeah, that's the threat. I don't like the threat. You got a good album, right? Nikki got a good album. I like Nikki's album. You can't mm -hmm. threaten the DJs. No. the DJ will stop playing your record. Now, let's hear how I play. I just don't like the threat. Like, like you know, you know, Nikki can have an opinion on self. Self can have his opinion on Nikki. But when you start saying, I got hungry N-words that's going to come up there, now, nah, that's, that's, yeah, that's no, what's wrong. So, so all the, are all the, that's the problem. That. Are all the DJs going to form like Voltron and stop playing our records? I don't want y'all to Absolutely. do this. Absolutely. I'm going to have a conversation with self first. I'm going to have a conversation with self. They being honest on the mic. No, but Evan, you from Queens. I don't care. You don't threaten no DJ over over his opinion. Now, if, if if self says something foul and disrespectful, then yeah, it's all good. But not over his opinion. If his opinion is this, and then all of a sudden you are gonna send somebody to come see him, nah. But I'm gonna have a conversation with self today, and because I'm I'm hoping Nikki didn't mean it that way, and and knowing Nikki, I don't think she meant it that way. But if she meant it that way, you and every DJ on this station better stop playing. <laughs> You don't come at you don't come at you don't come at one of my own and talk about you gonna come see him because of his opinion. If it's something else, then yeah, I get it, but not his opinion. Nah, mm -mm, nah. All right, mm -mm. well, uh, let's play this. Yo, yo, yo! It's Big Ed, the spokesman, man. We back another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in, and whenever Nicki Minaj got anything going on, whether she announcing a Queen Radio episode, show, concert, event, selling something, or dropping her album like she did with Pink Friday too last week. You can expect the barbs to fully mount up and pull up to support it to the fullest extent. Well, she turned up right now, and we know Nikki. We know females. Some of them, they going to remember every little incident that they can, and they going to wait for that opportunity to get at you, whether they are right or wrong, whether you agree or disagree. And it's no different right here with DJ Envy and Nicki Minaj. And I put that clip in the beginning because Nicki Minaj just went back to that moment where DJ Envy had said that he would not play her music, and she must have took it to heart, but she must have also be on some like, you know what? Let me capitalize and get at him right quick because he just went through something. And it's been a long year for Envy, if you know, you know already. And she went to Twitter and said this. Remember how cocky DJ Envy was when he was saying he blackballs my music on the radio? Ask yourself how DJ could get anywhere with that behavior, get away with that behavior. Then I remember him selling them busted houses and I have to laugh. We prayed. Envy, one by one, God will show y'all that you are not God. Hashtag Pink Friday 2. And that was in response to one of her fans saying, hey, they're not treating Nikki fair. They pocket watching her. They doing her dirty and everything like that. Then she went on and took some more shots. She said, how long was I on Kyle last night? Talking about Kyle's night stream. It's crazy that we broke his streaming record too. So proud of you guys and his fans as well. Numbers don't lie. Well, unless you're, then she put the laughing emoji. It was so much fun. Hashtag Pink Friday too. And then she went at Elliot Wilson because he was the one who had something to say about hip hop media. He put up a post and mocked Nicki Minaj going to his stream. Elliot, if you spit JZD out for one second, you'll be able to be happy for the newcomers. Isn't that how y'all try to tarnish my image by saying I'm not welcoming new chicks in? Did songs with all of them, though. Why you not happy for a young black man like Kai? Tomorrow, B. 
And Nicki Minaj, I can expect this from her. She most definitely going to turn up and capitalize on the moment. This is drawing more attention to it, controversy sales. And with women, you know, at times you don't know if they really serious, do they really have a grudge with you. But Elliot Wilson did take a shot at her working with Kai not as a part of like, this is what hip hop media is. And I'll say this, it's the double-sided sword because you do want to see traditional interviews and things like that. I did see that she going to Joe Button, though. She did post that up. But I do know why artists are going to other avenues because they don't want to get caught up in the clickbait uh, questions, the type of interviews that people give at times now because it's so many blogs and things. It get clipped up and it turned into something else and things of that nature. So they just like, hey, we going to rock with what we going to rock with. I really can't blame the artist. It would be good if, you know, artists just did media runs with seven, eight different platforms in the culture. But, hey, Nicki Minaj going to do what she do. DJ Envy keep catching slugs and strays, man. He ain't get convicted or nothing. He ain't get charged or nothing of that nature. But public perception, and when it comes to Nicki Minaj, you know she going to go low when it's time to go there. Tell me what y'all think. We got more coming, more videos, all that. One thousand. Stay on your pivot for shit show.